everyone good afternoon i hope you guys are having a great great time so far my name is amit surana this is the second lecture on coordinate geometry in today's lecture we're going to look at how to deal with questions that talk about equation of a line so far uh, till yesterday we had looked at what the cartesian system is so when i say yesterday i mean the first lecture huh? cartesian system we had looked at we looked at what distance formula is we use a distance formula for random applications and we looked at the section formula and midpoint formula yeah today we're going to deal with so all of this was dealt in the first lecture today we are going to deal with equation of a line my name is amit surana i am an educator here at an academy i have been with an academy for over a year now please do not forget to follow hashtag cat life daily the next time you go on instagram also please get yourselves added to these two telegram groups if you haven't already the links are provided in the description below today's agenda would be looking at the general form of an equation for a line we'll be looking at what angle of inclination is what slope is and different forms of equation of a line which is slope intercept form slope point form and two point form also the intercept form yes so this is today's agenda i hope you guys are doing great quickly let me know if you all are able to hear me hi sudarshan hello gaurav welcome if you're preparing for cat 22 then there are two batches this one started on 10th of july this is a weekend batch only two classes are done so far i will be taking quant here where we'll be talking about basics of mathematics basics of uh, quantitative aptitude for cat the other batch will be starting on 17th of July, which is this week weekend. Yes, to enroll into these, all you have to do is take one of these subscription packages, wherein you have unlimited access to all the classes, notes and tests. Use the code Surana or Surana Live to get a 10% discount. Also, if you want to talk more about the subscription, you can drop me a message on Telegram and I'll help you out. Hi, Lekhna okay chalo let's start with equation of a straight line yes we know a straight line is of the linear form yes and a straight line is a two-dimensional shape correct a line is a two-dimensional shape agreed so if it is two-dimensional then basically there will be two axes at which uh, two it will be a two axis plane basically so we will have an x axis and a y axis correct so the standard form of any given straight line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a is the coefficient of x b is the coefficient of y and c is your constant Please note guys that A, B and C have to be real numbers otherwise you will not be able to plot this on a graph. Yes, graph pe sif real numbers hi hote to A, B, C have to be real numbers. A and B cannot be equal to 0 at the same time. Yes, A and B cannot be equal to 0 at the same time. If they are equal to 0, then you will not be able to place a point also. Yes. Now, if A is equal to 0, if A is equal to 0, that basically means what would happen if A is 0? This entire expression gets cancelled out. So, you will be left with BY plus C is equal to 0 where you will get a line which is parallel to x-axis same way if b is equal to 0 then what will happen your by part will go off to 0 so ax plus c is 0 which will be a line parallel to your y-axis yes and if c is equal to 0 if your constant is equal to 0 then you will get ax plus by equal to 0 
which is a line that passes through the origin yes got it guys so we'll try to understand this in a better way with the help of a graph now hello neha good afternoon hi shreyashi hello lekhna let's use uh, i'll give you an equation we'll try to plot that equation k points on this particular graph okay so let's say the first uh, equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 12 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 so if we were to plot its x and y parts so for a straight line to be able to plot that graph one common thing that you can do is equate x to 0 in one case and equate y to 0 in another case yes these will give you the intercepts with the help of the intercepts you can join them as a straight line and you will get that particular line plotted on the graph so what happens in this equation if x is equal to 0 if x is 0 then 3y is equal to 12 or y is equal to 4 do you agree guys same way if y is equal to 0 then you get 2x equal to 12 or x is equal to 6 yes now if we were to plot this what would happen we would plot 0 comma 4 plus yes x is 0 y is 4 which is here and 6 comma 0 where x is x is 6 y is 0 correct hi ritik hey ajay thank you so much ajay wo thoda sa karna pad raha hai kyunki log believe nahi kar rahe ki main match teacher hu <laughs> to tactics so let's draw the line connecting these two points so this line this line's equation is what 2x plus 3y equal to 12 any doubts here guys with this hi Gaurav hello same way let's take another line say uh, okay so first let's talk about this line yes what is this point called 4 comma 0 yes this 4 comma 0 sorry 0 comma 4 what is this point called anyone is point ka ek naam hai 0 comma 4 this is called what this is called your y intercept yes what does it mean if your line intersects the y axis at a point that point is called your y intercept clear same way this point here this point here 6 comma 0 what is this called if this is y intercept then what is this called guys quick geometry overall geometry will take up about 25 percentage overall geometry will take up about 25 percentage in which coordinate geometry you can uh, expect about a question or two okay super very good Lekna neha ajay this is called your x intercept yes so at x intercept your y is always equal to 0 at y intercept your x is always equal to 0 i hope that is clear yeah now let's take another line let's take another line let's say we have 5x plus 4y equal to 20 another line 5x plus 4y equal to 20 so what will we do to plot this we have x y we will put x is 0 in one case another case y is 0 yes so if x is 0 what will happen y will become 5 same way if y is 0 x will become 4 correct so if we plot this 0 comma 5 which will be this point 0 comma 5 and 4 comma 0 which will be this point so if we join these two points with a straight line what will we get we'll get another line which is 5x plus 4y equal to 20 make sense now this this particular point here are you able to notice that these two lines intersect at a particular point this particular point is called your common solution 
दैट मीन्स इसका जो x का वैल्यू और y का वैल्यू होगा इसका जो x और y का वैल्यू होगा दैट विल सैटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन एंड इट विल सैटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन टू यस नाउ नॉर्मली अगर स्कूल में होते तो अपन ग्राफ अपने को ग्राफ शीट मिलती राइट वी वुड गेट अ ग्राफ शीट एंड वी कुड बी अ लिटिल बिट प्रिसाइस अबाउट आर पॉइंट नाउ बिकॉज वी विल नॉट हैव अ ग्राफ शीट गिवन टू अस इन कैट बेस्ट वे टू फाइंड आउट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू गिवन लाइन्स इज वॉट यूजिंग एल्जिब्रा सॉल्व बोथ ऑफ दीज येस सो हाउ वुड वी सॉल्व दिस लेट्स यूज एलिमिनेशन मेथड we have 4y here we have uh, sorry we have 2x and 5x let's multiply this entire equation with 5 what will happen we will have 10x plus 6 uh, 15y is equal to 60 same way if we multiply this entire equation with 2 what will happen we will get 10x plus 8y is equal to 40 If we subtract both of these, what will we end up getting? Fifteen minus eight, seven y is equal to twenty. Or what is y? Y is twenty by seven, which is two point eight five approximately. Correct? Are you getting this, guys? सेम वे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट दी एक्स सो यहां का इसका वाई वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन इसका एक्स इंटरसेप्ट इसका एक्स कॉर्डिनेट क्या हो जाएगा कॉर्डिनेट इन द एक्स एक्सिस एक्स पॉइंट क्या हो जाएगा इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन इन एनी वन ऑफ दीज इक्वेश यू विल गेट एक्स का वैल्यू ये सो इफ आई सब्सटीट्यूट हियर वॉट विल हैपन आई विल गेट टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस सिक्सटी बाई सेवन करेक्ट Would you agree, guys? So, how much is this? Twenty-four. Uh, Eighty-four minus sixty is twenty-four. So, x is equal to twelve by seven. Makes sense, everyone. Well, how much is twelve by seven? One point seven one four approximately. So, our x point is what? X coordinate is what? Twelve by seven. so this point where 12 by 7 and 20 by 7 at this point this point will satisfy our first equation also it will also satisfy our second equation so at any point in time in coordinate geometry or in uh, algebra if they ask you to find a common solution or if they want you to find a point of intersection then what can you do you can directly solve these yes solve these that's it okay chalo super now let's try out a common a simple example yes here's our first question jaldi se try karo answer batao hello rishi so for this question if you want you can do it graphically but since graph will not be provided to us graph sheet nahi milegi hame number 2 we need precise answer here yes so might as well just do it directly okay quickly try this out i get it that all these are very basic but these basic concepts are very very important if you want to understand the advanced concepts of coordinate geometry okay answers anyone So what do you do here? Just start solving it. That's it. So seven x plus two y, eight x plus four y. We can multiply this entire equation by two, giving us what? Fourteen x plus four y is equal to eighty four. Subtract it with the other equation. Eight x plus four y is thirty six. 
yes if you solve it what will happen plus 4y minus 4y gets cancelled 14 minus 8 is 6 so 6x is equal to 84 minus 36 which is 48 or x is equal to 8 yes if you substitute this x equal to 8 in any one of these equations you will get your value for y so 7 into 8 56 so you get 2y is equal to 42 minus 56 or 2y is equal to 14 minus 14 so y is minus 7 so at what point do they both intersect dono kab kaun se point pe intersect karte hain 8 comma minus 7 clear hai guys i understand not many of you are solving this please guys i understand bahut basic hai sir ye to koi bhi kar lega uh, 7th 8th standard mein sikhaya hoga ye of course but you need to get better with this to answer complex questions theek hai chalo not 4 comma minus 7 8 comma minus 7 no ठीक है डाल के देख लो नेहा अगर ऐसा कंफ्यूजन होता है तो वो वाला पॉइंट डाल के देख लो चेक करो कि सेटिस्फाई करता है नहीं करता अगर आप 4 कॉमा माइनस 7 डालोगे 4 into 7 28 plus 2 into minus 7 minus 14 is it equal to 42 definitely not ठीक है 28 minus 14 is 14 हाँ तो कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक है एक बार चेक कर लो फटाफट से ओके चल लेट्स मूव ऑन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इक्वेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरेलल टू एन एक्सिस यस फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इक्वेशन लाइन दैट इस पैरेलल टू द एक्स एक्सिस यस सो व्हाट डिड वी सी वी सो दैट कि अपना पैरेलल � yes or in other words if you want to find out the line yes this equation of a line which is parallel to the x-axis and is at a distance a above the x-axis will be what y equal to a this is zero if i say this point is a then your line will be parallel to the x-axis perpendicular to the y-axis okay parallel to the x-axis perpendicular to the y-axis and the equation of the line becomes what y equal to a make sense same way agar if it has to be uh, a units below the x-axis a units below the x-axis to kya ho jayega y will become equal to minus a because your y goes in the negative side yes so here for this line equation kya hai y equal to minus a got it same way if you want to find out equation of a straight line that is parallel to the y-axis parallel to the y-axis perpendicular to the x-axis at a distance of a to the right of origin or to the right of x uh, y-axis so point kya ho gaya? A. so this is a comma zero previous case mein zero comma a tha. Same way, agar uh, y-axis ke left side mein hona hai, but parallel to y-axis, then this will become minus a. So, what is this point? Minus a comma zero. Got it? So, if you have y equal to some constant, if you have y equal to some constant, then it is parallel to x-axis. Yes, same way, if your equation is x equal to some constant, then it is parallel to y-axis. Make sense, everybody? Thiye? Read this question. Jaldi se try karo ye wala. Let's see how many of you can answer.
try this one out guys Lekhna says b y equal to minus 4, okay, others. So what is our question? What is the equation of a line which does not coincide with the x axis? You know any line will coincide with each of the axis unless and until they are parallel. So what do we know? Parallel to x axis. If it has to be parallel to x axis, then it will be what y equal to something, correct? We can eliminate two answer choices. And is at a constant distance of four units below the y axis. Four units below. That means what? Minus four. Yes, so option B is your answer. Got it? Superb. Shreyashi, Lekhna, Janvi, Harsh. Very good, guys. Superb. Very nice, Neha. Done? Chal. Okay, before we move on, guys, if you are someone who is preparing for Maharashtra CET, you know that uh, the test, although there is no proper schedule for the test put up yet, registrations are on. So, they have given us about 30 days. So I'm launching a free crash course for Maharashtra CET Quant on an academy app. This is a free course, don't have to pay for it. This is a special class which we will be starting from today. 12th July is today at 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. We'll be doing this class every day from Monday to Friday. Yes, you can join this in with the link given in the Telegram group use the code surana live when they ask you for an invite code okay i'll see you today at 5 pm people preparing for maharashtra cet chalo now let's go on to inclination yes angle of inclination so if an angle is made by a straight line with the positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise direction that angle is called angle of inclination for example this is your x-axis this is your y-axis this is your positive x yes so if we put up a line if there is a line that passes through the x-axis like this and if there is an angle formed for, by counting what anti-clockwise you have to calculate the angle from the x-axis to the line in an anti-clockwise direction that angle theta is called your angle of inclination yes so the angle of inclination of the line l is what theta here what is its purpose what is this theta used for theta ka purpose is to find out the slope yes so a slope of a line can be found out because the slope is tangent to the particular side yes so you can find that out by taking up tan of the angle formed yes so if i say that an angle of let's say 30 degrees is formed with the x-axis then what is the slope of that particular line slope kya ho jayega? tan 30 are you getting this guys how much is tan 30 1 by root 3 so this will become the slope of that particular line 1 by root 3. Understood? Yes, so tangent of that particular angle, tan of that particular angle will give you the slope of the line. Yes. Other ways of finding out slope would be what? If there are two points given to you, instead of the angle, if they give you two points and they tell you that our line passes through this x1, y1 and x2, y2, then slope is given by the difference of the y coordinates by the difference of the x coordinates. y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. 
got it you can also do y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 but you'll have to make sure that you keep either y2 and x2 in the beginning y1 and x1 at the end or alternatively yes y1 x1 in the beginning y2 x2 in the later part okay so if this is a line if sorry if this is the line then what happens its slope is given by y2 minus y1 which is this distance and x2 minus x1 which is this distance this is called rise because your angle is rising yes and this part can be called as run how much is it running running horizontally rising vertically yes the third way of talking about slope would be what if the equation of the line itself is given to us if the entire equation of a line is given to us then the slope is given by minus a by b a is what coefficient of x b is what coefficient of y negative of it clear yes so if i give you an example let's say if we have 9x square plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 then what is the slope sorry 9x plus 3y not quadratic equation this is not a parabola it's a straight line so if we have a straight line equation like this then its slope is given by minus a by b which is how much minus 3 clear correct janvi superb let's try out a question here read this question let's see who can answer this very simple question if the slope of a given line is root 3 then what is its angle of inclination lekhana and gaurav are saying 60 janvi says 60 super so what do we know slope is nothing but tan of the angle of inclination yes which they are saying is root 3 can i write can we write root 3 as we know that tan 60 is root 3 so tan theta is equal to tan 60 therefore the angle of inclination becomes 60 degrees yes superb guys very nice read this question try this out jaldi se what is the slope of the line passing through the points p and q find out the slope So we have minus 2 comma 3 here and we have 2 comma 7 yeah this is our line we need to find out its slope so if you are not able to remember the formula then what can you go for you can go for run by rise yes sorry rise by run this is your run this is your rise yeah how much is the rise rise is nothing but 7 y ka value is 7 here y ka value is 3 here 7 minus 3 is 4 so this is 4 units this is minus 2 this is plus 2 2 minus of minus 2 is 4 so what is our slope 4 by 4 equal to 1 or alternatively slope is given by y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 which is how much 2 minus of minus 2 by 7 minus 3 4 by 4 sorry alternate ulta 4 minus 7 minus 3 
by 2 minus of minus 2 which is how much 1 yes so uh, if the slope of a particular line is 1 if m is equal to 1 then what is your angle of inclination anyone if slope is 1 then what is angle of inclination very good Gaurav 45 degrees why very good lake now because tan 45 is 1 okay superb very good Janvi Shreyashi very nice Chalo, let's move on let's look at our next question now what is the slope of a line whose y intercept is 8 and x intercept is 4. Quickly try this out. Very good, Neha. What is the slope of a line whose y intercept is given and x intercept is given? Gaurav says 2, others, Lekhna says minus 2, coordinate geometry may you have to be very careful with the signs, Harsh says positive 2, okay, anyone else? What do you mean by y intercept? Intercepting the y axis. Yes, that means x has to be 0. So, what is this point? 0, 8. And x intercept is 4. That means intercepting the x axis. So, x will be 4, y will be 0. You can use, now you can use uh, run by rays or directly go for the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 correct if i consider this as x1 y1 this is x2 y2 then what will you get 8 minus 0 by 0 minus 4 correct make sense guys y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 which is what 8 by minus 4 that's nothing but minus 2 so much guy everyone any doubts here guys anyone sabka clear hai na? So, our slope here is what? Negative 2. Try this one. Find the value of A in AX plus 3Y equal to 22. If the slope it forms is 1 by 5. Find A. What is the value of A? A is minus 3 by 5. Super. Very good. Janvi, Lekna, Gaurav. So, what happens here? We know slope in the form of equation. If the line is given in the form of an equation, then it is what? Minus A by B. Yes. Which is given as 1 by 5. And what is B? 3. So, minus A by 3 is 1 by 5 or A is equal to minus 3 by 5. Clear? Very nice. Superb case. Chalo, try this one now.
Janvi says zero. Very good. Super. So here you can just look at the points and realize that your y coordinates for both of these lines are same. Y coordinates for both of these lines are same. Correct. If the y coordinates are same, then what does it basically mean? It basically means the rise will be equal to zero. Correct. Rise in yoga number line. You understand? So if we were to plot this, ये कैसे जाएगा? Uh, 2 comma 5 let's say if 2 comma 5 is here then minus 4 comma 5 will be here correct yes or no so what will it form it will form a straight line parallel to your x-axis yes parallel to your x-axis and ye wala jo line hai wo parallel to x-axis ho jayega Yes, so if it is parallel to x axis, then what do you know? Slope is ka kya ho jayega? Zero. Clear? Yes. So is ka aap, uh, you can find out the run. Run is this 2 minus of minus 4, which is 6. So run to 6 ho gaya, but y, y2 minus y1 is 0 none of the above okay okay before we move on to the next concept every sunday 12 pm we will have combat you if you get a rank within first 200 you can get these scholarships this is a free test where you will have quant verbal and lr if you want to join in you can use this qr scan it or you can use the link in the description but don't forget to use the code Surana Live when you enroll into this. Okay. Now let's go to different forms of equation of a line. First, let's talk about the slope intercept form. In according to slope intercept form, your equation is given by y equal to mx plus c. Our general format is what? Ax plus by plus c equal to 0 hai na? yes if you divide this entire thing by b if you divide this entire thing by b what will happen you will have a by b which is minus mx plus y plus c equal to 0 would you agree yes so in other terms what will happen y will become equal to uh, mx minus c but because c because your constant c is a constant ye constant hai, right so minus c plus c wouldn't matter yes so your slope intercept form is what y equal to mx plus c m is the slope y is the y intercept y kya hai aapka y intercept this point yes clear so if you want to write down this line is yes, line ka equation it will become what y equal to mx plus c where slope will be given by what run by race yes sorry race by run so race kya ho gaya aapka c ho gaya your race is c and what how much will be your run whatever is the x intercept okay so if slope is given and if uh, you know how much distance is given then you can find out your equation of the line then we have slope point form yes equation of a line with slope m and passing through a point is given as y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 yes because your m is nothing but x minus x1 by y minus y1 we don't know x and y that is why we're keeping it open so what will happen what will happen sorry it's the other way around now sorry sorry y minus y1 by x minus x1 sorry huh? So we can rewrite this as what y minus y1 will be equal to m into x minus x1. 
or your equation becomes y is equal to m into x minus x1 plus y1. ठीक है? Let's try a question now. Read this question. Try this out. Find the equation of a line which passes through 3 comma minus 4 and makes an angle of 45 degrees with the x-axis. Let's see if you can quickly answer this. What will be the equation guys? What are we given? We are given with angle of inclination 45 degrees and we are given with our x1 and y1 which is 3 comma minus 4. Okay, the Vyanshu says uh, y plus 4 is equal to x minus 3, which is y equal to x minus 7. Okay, Gaurav and the Vyanshu are saying y equal to x minus 7. Others? Superb Shreyashi. So, what form will we use here? If we have our theta, from this can we find out our slope? Slope is nothing but tan theta. What is theta? 45 degrees, which is what? 1. So our slope is equal to 1. What are we going to use? What are we going to use here, guys? We have the slope, we have a point. Yes, which is what? Slope point form. Yes, slope point form. Which is what? Which is given as y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So what is y1? y1 is minus 4. So this becomes y plus 4. m is 1 into x minus 3. Or y is equal to x minus 7. Got it? Super. So let's try, let's go to the next type of uh, equation that is a two point form. If two points are given to us, if two points are given to us and we need to find out its equation, then how, how would we do it? We know that y is equal to mx plus c, correct? y is equal to mx plus c, yes. So y y will become what if we were to if two lines are given to us yes or we can use two point formula also m is basically what y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this is m so y is basically what y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x plus c yeah Further, what you can do, you can write this as y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Got it? Yes. So, let's try out a question. Try this one out. Find the equation of a line that passes through both of these points. So here you can use two point form. You can also use a uh, slope point form. So use two point form and find out what will be the equation of this line guys. Quick. Anyone?
y equal to minus 5 by 3 into x plus 1 plus 1 y equal to x plus 2 y equal to x plus 2 is right yeah yes so what did we see we saw two point form if we were to use two point form what will we do y minus y1 will be equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 correct yes guys if we use the two point form then what will we get y minus let's say this is x1 y1 x2 y2 yes so y minus 1 is equal to y2 minus y1 minus 5 by x2 minus x1 3 into x minus x1 which is what plus 1 yes either this will be your formula if you try to solve it what will you get y minus 1 will be or 3 y minus 1 3 y minus 3 is equal to minus 5 x minus 5 further if you solve it 3 y will be equal to minus 5 x plus uh, sorry minus 2 yes this will ultimately become your equation or what can you do prakhar of course questions are asked no isile itna mehnat kar rahe iske liye or you can go for slope point form yes you can take any one of the points and find out the slope between these two points correct tab ka slope kya ho jayega yahan pe slope is minus 5 by 3 minus 4 minus 1 by 2 minus of minus 1 yes so you can use y is equal to mx plus c yeah or what can you do if there is a slope given and a point given yes y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 which is basically the same thing only okay yes so you can use either the two point form or you can use what your uh, slope point form either which ways Thiga? ultimately your m is basically opened up here that's it yes you can solve this further if you solve this further you will understand what's going on yes so y will become equal to minus 5x minus 2 by 3 technically this will be so an equation can be written in multiple forms got it math x mad an equation can be written in multiple forms so this is one of them this is one of them this is one of them however you want to write it it's just less solved that's it okay now let's go to the intercept form what happens when x intercept and y intercept both are given to us yes if x intercept and y intercept both are given to us here they're saying a is the x intercept y is the y intercept yes b is the y intercept so this point is a comma zero this point is b comma zero and the equation can be given as what x by a where there's some issue with this x by a plus y by b equal to one okay this gets removed x by a plus y by b will be equal to one yes so let's try a question they're asking find the equation of a line which makes intercepts 3 and 4 on x-axis and y-axis respectively so what will be the equation for this one what will we use we will use the intercept form correct there will be two intercepts given to us we will use the intercept form x by a plus y by b will be equal to 1 which gives us what x by 3 is the x intercept 4 is the y intercept correct if you further solve it what will you get you will get 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 same thing you can get by find using two point form also 
because the two points will become what this is 3 comma 0 x intercept y intercept will be what 4 0 comma 4 got it so your slope m basically becomes what 4 by 4 minus 0 by minus 3 ठीक है This is your slope, so your equation can be written as y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. y minus what did we consider as y1? This one, right? So x1, y1, है ना? So y minus 0 will be equal to 4 by minus 3 into x minus 3. Yes. So what do you get? y or 3y is equal to minus 4x plus 12 or 3y plus 4x is 12. Same thing, just different ways of bringing it. Got it? Okay? Super. Now, just quickly find out the slope intercept form and intercept form of this particular line. There's an equation given to us. We need to find out what is the slope intercept and we need to find out the intercept form of it. Chalo quickly try karo. First, let's try slope intercept, everyone. Quick, guys. Okay, Lindsay, Lindsay says uh, 15x minus 20y equal to 1, okay. Others? So first let's do slope intercept form. Yes, so slope intercept form says what? What does the slope intercept form say? That y is equal to mx plus c where y is the y intercept or okay x is the x intercept. Yes. Got it. So what will happen here guys? Y intercept at y intercept x is basically equal to 0 correct at y intercept x is basically equal to 0 so in our given equation in our given equation if x is equal to 0 then y becomes equal to 5 by 4 make sense yes or no guys so ye c kya hai? the c is basically your y intercept yes and x is your coordinate x y are your coordinates what is the slope here slope minus a by b which is minus 3 by 4 so our equation becomes what our equation becomes y is equal to minus 3 by 4 x plus 5 by 4 or in other words 4y is equal to minus 3x plus 5 or 3x plus 4y is equal to 5 match or so this is your slope intercept form same way if you want to bring it bring it to your intercept form then what do you do you already know your uh, y intercept Equation kya hai? x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Hai na? Yes. So y by b ka value aapko pata hai. y by 5 by 4. What is x by a? a kya hoga? When y is equal to 0, which is 5 by 3. Make sense? This should be equal to 1. This is your intercept form. And this is your slope intercept form. Yes. Ultimately, equation to same hi hoga. Ab jaise taise solve karoge. However you solve, you will end up getting the same equation only. 
3x plus 4y equal to 5 only because all these equations are interlinked. Same equation, same line. Just the way of writing it changes. That's it. Okay? Just the way of writing it changes. Cool? Chalo. Let's quickly find out this answer. Try this one out. Find the equation of the line passing through minus 3 comma 5 and perpendicular to the line passing through the points these two yes so to answer this question to answer this question we need to know what is the slope of perpendicular lines yes so slope of perpendicular lines parallel lines all that we will be doing in tomorrow's session okay tomorrow is what 13th of july 3 p.m yes guys so rest of the questions would all follow the same suit that means we'll be doing that uh, tomorrow don't forget to enroll into these ongoing batches guys if you're preparing for cat 21 then these are the ongoing batches please go ahead join them if you want to enroll into them all you have to do is take a plus subscription you can take any one of these packages if you're preparing for cat 22 and above you can go for 24 months if you are preparing for cat 21 and more you can go for 12 months if you are only preparing for cat 21 you can go for six months don't forget to use my code surana or surana live for which you will get 10 percentage discount yes and if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship program yes where you and your mentor would be talking one-on-one -on -one, no batches no too many people yes just the learner and the mentor you can speak with your mentor directly you can clear any doubts you can discuss concepts with them you can discuss strategy with them you can also build a customized study plan according to your convenience and book slots for your classes according to that for this you will have to take the iconic subscription which has 24 months so if you are preparing for cat 22 and above you can go for 24 months if you are preparing for cat 21 and above you can go for 12 months don't forget to use the code surana live or surana when you take a subscription okay also guys don't forget to join in 5 pm today maharashtra cet today is the first lecture yes we'll be starting with quant basics so please go ahead and join as soon as possible okay 5 pm to 6 30 pm the link is given in the disc uh, is given in the group you can use that group but don't forget to use the code surana live when you join yes thank you so much guys for being a part of the session don't forget to hit like on this video i will see you uh, tomorrow uh, i'll see you today at 5 pm today at 8 pm and then tomorrow okay thank you so much for joining keep learning let's crack it